My father, who is a World War II veteran, passed away in 1995. It was amazing how the cemetery staff took very good care of my family. I found the position open at the cemetery and I applied for it. I've been with the agency ever since. Rex Allen Kern is my full name. I am the cemetery director for Miramarans here in Southern California, and I am originally from Kansas City, Kansas. The cemetery director is basically in charge of all operations. I manage all functions of the cemetery itself. I hire, approve budget, things of that nature. I have 50 or 60 contractors that work under me as well. My name is uh, officially Kathleen May Bruyer, and I'm a retired Naval officer. I'm one of four volunteers. My late husband is here, Tom, and he's been here since the cemetery opened. Several years later, I also have about 30 sets of friends who are here, or family members of friends. So it's, it's a very special place. This is considered a national shrine, and that's what NCA prides our cemeteries on, to be the national shrine standards, which pretty much means everything's dress right dress. You know, everything's immaculate. Everything's taken in consideration of even the minute details. Rex is totally dedicated. He immediately got to work to turn it into the beautiful, beautiful place that you see. He has very strict standards. We all understand what they are, and we agree with them because we are family members too. It's just wonderful watching him talk to the families as well and help them through the process. The Carillon Tower is dedicated to playing music every day of the week. There's a monument up there that honors the Battle of Chosen. Bob Baker, who is a prominent person here in San Diego, donated the money because he was actually there. And he's one of the few survivors of that. And so uh, he thought it was important to put that there. And I, I totally agree. You know, those types of monuments are critical for our national cemeteries because they also tell stories of the past. The POWMIA came about through a POW group here in San Diego. It's one of the main focal points in the cemetery. It's at, right at the front entrance and it depicts what our servicemen and women go through if they're captured or they become MIA. You know, we always want to make sure that we remember those that have never returned home. The cemetery is only 10 years old, so one of the coolest aspects of it, or the most unique, is I have two Civil War veterans buried here, which is very uncommon for a young cemetery. Normally that's something you would see in our older cemeteries, you know, our historical cemeteries, I would say. We have all kinds of wonderful people, veterans, and their family members who come to the cemetery to get information, and then the families of their loved ones who are being interred here. I get to hear all kinds of wonderful stories about their service, about their family members, and it is very, very rewarding to, uh, to hear all of that. The best part of the job is the satisfaction knowing that you're given the family closure, you're given the veteran the honor, dignity, and respect that they deserve with final honors. I get a chance to meet veterans from different eras, and I get to hear their stories, you know, and, and we kind of exchange stories, because, you know, a veteran only really opens up to another veteran. It's just one of those things you get to hear stories that uh, are just amazing that you can't get anywhere else, and, uh, you know, not in a book or something. You're actually talking to a live person who is actually part of this history. So what's behind us is the Marine Corps Air Station. We get flyovers every day, so if somebody comes for a service, they say, fly over, I said, you just wait a few minutes and you'll get one. 